Oh, welcome back to one and all to Code Weaver Plays Games. Audio seems to be functioning. And uh, we're going to go straight on into... Yes, we're doing Sea of Thieves again. And... I seem to have left my door open, which is not really a big deal, except it kind of messes with my visuals. Nice white walls, probably. Uh, easier on the eyes. So how's that? That looks a little bit better. Yay! Huzzah! So, um, yeah, let's just get right on into this. So, what am I doing today? Um, so recently I got my uh, legendary status. Uh, yes, yes, lots of messages. I haven't done a lot of the story missions. Uh, I'm kind of reserving doing those with a friend of mine to, uh, to some degree, although we haven't been doing that a lot lately. Um, I may change my mind on that. We'll have to see how that goes, but... Uh, what am I doing? I am pondering, getting a little practice in, uh, doing more combat -y stuff, specifically going after... I, I'm not sure if the PvP thing is, is uh, going to go all that well. We'll have to see. Um, no, let's just do a thing. Uh, I'm going to go and try to engage in some ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat with the ghost ships, I think. Again, a little bit more practice on that. Uh, definitely some skelly ships if we find it. And I may try to take on a f one of the fortresses, maybe. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, because I haven't done that in absolutely an age. In fact, since pretty much the first few uh, times I ever played this game, and I've never done it on stream... And I'm likely to get taken out by a PvP player because that seems to be a thing that everybody likes to get involved in, but we'll see what happens. So, browse sand to stock. No, I don't want to go there. What I want to do is I want to say browse the supplies. And I'm just going to get myself uh, quickly stocked up. Yeah, that's fine. Cannonball supplies, wood supplies. Let's just get ourselves all stocked up here. It's expensive, but I hope to be making my money back. So... What sort of precipitated this uh, is that uh, I have been, uh, I don't have a lot of food, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around a little bit and try to gather food, or should I just buy bananas? No, let's, um, let's, not sure how I want to play this. Ooh, custom cannonballs doesn't suck though. Uh, a few extra regular cannonballs, not a bad thing. Uh, I started to do some fishing, so that's also a thing. Ooh, look at that, a quest. We might do that um, along with everything else. So we got a little bit of extra food. That's kind of nice. So let's get ourselves stocked up here. I will be flying us under an emissary flag. I'm not really that worried about the emissary flag as such. The thing that I want to do is I need to I need to practice hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, and I need to practice uh, defending my ship and the like. And while the skeleton sloops don't really do that uh, very well, uh, I well we'll see if we, we run into any player combat. So let me put it to you this way: I'm not going to shy away from com um, from combat with other players as long as I'm not carrying a whole bunch of stuff I want to sell, which. I know that's a kind of a bit of a weasel uh, statement to make. Uh, I don't really want to lose stuff that I've worked hard to get, but I do need more practice in the PvP because I'm starting to encounter PvP stuff. I don't really need the throwables and all that, but I guess extras can't hurt. Really after the food. There we go. Any more food? Can we get more food out of any of these? Oh, another quest. That doesn't suck. We've got a couple more specialty balls back here. I'll probably come back and grab those. And this probably is enough food, so I will uh, not worry about that. I just feel like I wouldn't be a good pirate if I didn't collect a few more of those specialty cannonballs that are literally right there for the taking. Specifically after blunder bombs. Um, I actually had uh, my first sort of uh, halfway decent boarding attempt on another ship, which involved me being able to hide out on the ship, which then enabled me to um, uh, 
killed her captain. I, th it's not completely clear whether we actively sunk their ship or whether they scuttled it uh, at the very last minute. Uh, but in either case, uh, we fended them off and I think sunk uh, another player ship that had a banner that was trying to attack us. We were not the aggressors. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, look, it is part of the game, so we, we took that on. Uh, but unfortunately, we also got our butts handed to us on um, subsequent attempts. Oh, look, we got quite a bit of food here, so we'll be coming back for all of that. Um, and part of the reason could have been some network lag. Um, part of that could be have been weird computer settings, whatever. But we did not make a particularly good play of it, and thankfully, the people who took us over were not toxic scumbags. They were, you know, suitably... They, they had an open mic, which is funny, because um, as, uh, as a general rule, um, open mic players seem to be... It seems to be a practice frowned upon by a lot of the streamers, I guess because technically when you're close enough, it kind of gives away what you're doing, unless you're guarding your speech, so... Uh, most people use, I guess, Discord and the like, like I do uh, when I'm playing the game, uh, and don't use the in-game chat except for direct chat. I find that kind of an unfortunate failing in the fact that you can't force people to use a particular mic service, and that, and it kind of, it's really too bad, because I think that would add to the immersiveness in the game if you couldn't escape having to um, use open mics or some sort of mic mechanism. I think you could make it part of the game, but unfortunately there's just no technological way to stop people from uh, using other mic services, at least not without being weirdly onerous on, um, I don't know, tracking what the mics, what other mic, mic systems are doing on the computer or something. Uh, and then people could just use cell phones. Like, there's no way to close that gap with, for somebody who's sufficiently determined. Where was I going with this? Point being is we could hear the chatter and, um, and uh, so, interestingly enough, we actually had a slight broadcast over the things that they were doing as they were wiping us out, and they just wiped us out anyway, um, because we're just not very good, uh, and, and possibly, again, hamstrung by computer-related issues. But whatever the reason, um, whatever the reason, the critical thing that I take away from it is that... Uh, from my side of things, uh, I just need to be better at uh, the combat portions, which uh, when we actually have to do hand-to-hand, -hand, especially when you have to respawn and deal with spawn camping, which is just an unfortunate way the game is designed. It's inevitable, but you can't guard it. You can't sort of design around it very well because getting on board a ship is tricky with it when it's being sufficiently well defended. And, and to force a ship to go down, there aren't very many ways, I think, to do that other than just making sure that when characters respawn, um, that they can't retake their own ship. I don't think I'm kind of babbling here as I'm trying to chat and uh, outfit my ship at the same time. I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do here. So let's um, fill my pockets. Rid of the food that I don't need. A couple other food items in hand. Okay. Anyway, had our butts handed to us while they were laughing on mic at adding our butts to us. You know, that's fine. Uh, we're learning. We don't know how to... I don't know how to do the PvP well. I won't speak for anyone else. Uh, but I know that I'm not very good at it. Um, yet. And so I need practice. Straightforward. Okay, I'm fully restocked. I do need to get my ship properly customized, so I'll sort that issue out. And I still have no idea if they've actually fixed the saving your configuration bug. I've tried it a couple of times and it's failed every time. Even and the and it, that should have been something 100% hammered out the instant. Um, captaincy was a thing, because that was one of the big things about captaincy. I just do not get um, how they could utterly fail to correctly implement the saving and restoring of that on, on the very first day. Um, and it's, and it was, it's been months. So very odd that they let one of their key sort of features, the savable customization, just, um, just fail. 
don't get it. Uh, I tried it a couple of times and it's failed every time. Now I'm sure they will eventually get it working. But the, but the short answer is, um, it's not that big a deal in the sense that I can quickly get my ship set up the way I like. Um, so does it matter? Does it in the long run matter? Probably not. What was I gonna do? I was gonna go here, I was gonna say, restore my ship. Don't need to do this, and I'm gonna get beaten up. But let's have a nice shiny ship as I head out. I blame you, Code Chick. That's your influence. But, you know. Alright, so let's do this thing. Uh, we are going to... grab... an Order of Souls. You know what? Um, I, I can already do ship combat reasonably well. I mean, I'm not terrible at it. I can hit other ships and all of that. And these guys don't do the boarding thing, and I can't go on board them, so it's not going to help me learn that part of it. So let's go on a quest that involves um, land pirates, and I'm going to on purpose not use um, I'm going to on purpose not use uh, cannonballs to take them out from shore. That has been my shtick because it's a relatively easy thing to do when they're on shore. I need more hand-to-hand -hand experience. I need more keeping myself healed experience. Let's go do that. Oh, doesn't my ship look lovely? Oh, I love this layout and, and this, uh, this skin. Uh, it is my thing. So let's take a look at what we got here. Let's unselect all this rubbish. And let's... Uh, oh, we got to go and propose the quest. Come on, brain. Figure it out. Voyages. Quarrel. Shipwreck Bay, Captain uh, Nastali Hall. All right, Shipwreck Bay it is. I haven't been there in a while. It's right down here. Let's book it. South it is. So, uh, let us... Okay, got them preloaded, but I will also get more ball of the uh, cannonballs in my pockets. Get more balls in my pockets, because that's not an awkward phrase. Uh, we are skirting the edge of this storm, so let's batten down the hatches. It's not a crisis, but we'll get a little water on board, so let's just capture that up front. We're going to run silent, because I don't feel like... Well, you know, I kind of do want to attract attention, don't I? Like, this isn't really about doing the Order of Souls quest. That's sort of a, a, a thing to do while I'm doing other things. So... If I get spotted, that's not the uh, that's not the worst thing in the world. I should, however, get a flag up. Let's quickly pop upstairs in the middle of a storm because I'm stupid. Um, I could do the Lodestar flag, but actually, let's go with the uh, the parrot flag, because the parrot scheme, uh, as you can see by my outfit, um, is one of my other favorite loadouts. It's the sort of, my favorite f um, sort of free stock loadout. I had to, to pay for the glowy, sparkly one. One of the first things I've ever paid for in a cash shop. Something I will probably never do again. It would take an extraordinary set of circumstances and the right game to make me do that again. Because if, as far as I'm concerned, if the game itself can't really entice me on its own, then, the, then for me, why play the game? But this did add a lot of mood. Now, we've got a problem here.
Oh, I don't think I can hit diddly squat from here, but that's okay. That's just fine. That's, um... Yes, of course. Because of course. Uh, let's keep sailing in. I'm gonna tuck myself in here, and hopefully I can get him to stop firing at me when I'm... kind of hunkered up against the rock here. Oh, hello, that's less good. Sure, light my ship on fire, because, you know, I, I needed that. All right, let's, um, but it is raining, so that's kind of helped. So let's get down here, let's bail this out. Blunder bomb my way into this. Let's just repair the hull. Bail myself out. Uh, okay, I think we're good for the moment. So let's get ourselves prepped to sail the heck out of here if it becomes necessary. Okay, so we are prepped. We're good to go. Let's, um... Let's go do the thing. Alright. find out where the skeletal crew is that I'm supposed to be dealing with. Somewhere on Shipwreck Island. Now we do know that there is a skeleton up in manning the um, cannons up there. How do we get up there? Probably from the ship? See if we can get up there. See if we can get up there without just falling off and smacking ourselves on the noggin. How about that then? Jeez, how do we even get up there? Oh, there is in fact a way up there. Alright, I'll take it. Don't know if I've actually ever been up here. Got you, but I mean, that doesn't really do a lot. There they are. Actually, not that far away from where my ship was, so let's book it back to my ship. So that's a better place for me to be anyway. Let's uh, use the ocean as a trampoline. Let's come around. Let's practice doing this with gunfire. chest there. That's good. That'll help.
lots of lot. Okay, okay. Let's lead you down the garden path, so, so to speak. down, refill that, I'm still adequate on health, oh, here we go, here we go, see, let's try to take these guys out fast, anybody I can get it, oh, hello, oh, that was bad, right, here we go, Okay, once again, up, round, over, drop down, find the ammo chest. Let's actually get some food in us because that's a thing. Make sure it actually takes by completing the animation. A little bit of distance, do the reload, quickly aim at fire. Myself. Grab extra food because completely by accident. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly here. Against PvP players who hop around like jitterbugs on caffeine, this would not be effective, but... Run, 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 over the edge, drop down. Quit readjust it on my desk because it's really starting to annoy me. Oh, hello. That was very nearly a problem. So this is slow, but it's effective. And at the very least, uh, it gets me some practice in just aiming and firing. Uh, oh, uh, around the corner here. Shard, are you coming in on? Buddy. 
Oh, and I'm getting slightly beaten up because I am not timing my getting away maneuvers. But let's uh, eat a little bit of food because we can. We're going to drop down. We'll grab a little extra food from... Oh, and some cannonballs. Don't mind if I do. All right, whoops. Ah. Hello, hello, I have done that dirty. I have done that very badly. That was sloppy as heck. Come on. These guys are tougher. Wonder if I have to take these guys out with fire or something. Nope, nope, they're just tougher. And fast, so. which isn't fantastic, and they're firing at me, which is even less than totally fantastic. And I'm pretty sure that's somebody with an explosive barrel. So let's book it over here. Come on, come on, get weapon up, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be exchanging bullets. Just a little practice jumping around like a crazy buffoon. Alright, the bouncing around does seem to help a little bit. problematic. Okay, now I'm just being dumb. I'm, I'm exchanging bullets. I do have the ability to heal, but I still shouldn't be getting hit this badly. Uh-oh. That's a problem. That's a big problem. A, it's getting dark, and oh, hello. Uh, come on! No! Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Have to get away from this bozo. attention. That's good. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, that was not completely expected. I got you. do have the problem here, or I did have the problem there where I ran out of bullets. So that problem has now since been resolved. Okay, here we go, here we go. to make sure we didn't just punch a hole in it. Which of course naturally I did. That could be right. Rainwater? I guess it is. Oh, crap. Slightly annoying, buddy. Did I get him? I might have gotten him, and I might have gotten just that one last shot off on me. Alright, let's take a look around and see what they damaged. They did, yeah, they did break the capstan. This is not a great place to leave my ship, given this, but... Putting holes in my nice shiny new ship. I don't like that. Well, this is still a better place to uh, to leave my ship than um, tucked up awkwardly against the island. No, it isn't. That is totally a lie. All right, let's go fix this. This is not a fast completion of this quest, but I did decide to do most of it by way of uh, by way of gunplay. I think now I'm going to switch to sword play. Uh, oh, hell, nope, don't want to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Quick little burst of speed, because let's just get in there and get ourselves tucked in and a little bit safer. Alright, that's fine, that's enough. I think what I'll do is I will tuck myself into this rock instead. That'll do. 
quick double check to make sure that I don't have any additional water leaking. This is just left over, so that's fine. All right. Do need more food, though. Okay, got myself some food. Let's go and deal with this captain, shall we? Thankfully, these shadow skeletons are destructible in the light. It happens to be light enough, but I am getting my butt kicked because I can't quite see where they are. So let's drag them down to shore. Take out a bunch of them with a sword lunge, and then this guy we can just... Uh, there we go. Whoa, hello. Nope, that was that was bad timing. Did not notice him. There we go. Okay, pull out some into that. Pull out some. Well, that's nice to have. It doesn't help me explicitly. No, no food. That's really rubbish. Okay. Captain comes and feeds me my breakfast. All right, here we go. Oh, great. These guys are tougher. No, don't need any of these. What I really need, I got lots of, lots of neat um, custom cannonballs, but what I really need is fire. Because I'm not screwing around with trying to sword play these guys. I don't think that's sensible. Some throwables. Uh, let's go and make sure that we have extra food. We may have to restock ourselves on food somewhere at some point. Because that's the one thing I didn't purchase outright. But once I deal with these guys, all right, let's try this. Is 
this guy even possible to take down with sword play, or is this one of the restrictions for this type type of uh, bad guy? All right, not really willing to uh, test this forever. Let's light you on fire and hope that's enough. There we go. No other drops that are relevant here. We completed the quest, so let's get this back on board ship, and then maybe let's go and see if we can scrounge. Chapter 2. Let's make a trip around the island. Let's, well, first of all, let's scout to see if there's any other, any other pirates in the area, because this would come to a bad end if this just sort of, you know, ended because I got snuck up on due diligence and all that. So let's drop you down in the hold just for safekeeping. That's fine. Uh, odd, okay. But I thought I got a splash out of that, but that's all right. Um, let's quickly pop up here. We don't seem to be uh, being approached by anything. Let's... Oh, hello. How did I miss absolutely everyone there? All right, let's, uh... All just ammo pouches. Okay, I'm not sure what good that did me, but that's all right. Let's, um... Take a trip around the island and see if we can find anything worth picking up. Uh, maybe an extra chest or two. I haven't been right around the island to, to double check, well, you know, what what's here and what isn't. If I happen to stumble across a storage chest, that would save me a pile of time in food collecting. And you honestly, you never know what you can find. Do, do. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess pick up food along the way anyway, but yeah, there's a lot of food here. I just don't want to pick it all up manually. A lot of food. Probably would have been worth my time just buying a storage chest. I've been reluctant about doing that because it is quite a pile of... extra cash on startup, but from a time perspective, as I get better at this game, it just simply might be worth doing. Or blunder bombs never sucks. Coming right round uh, to my ship again. Oh, hello. Who are you? Well, you know what? You don't look like you're a captain, so just one of those should do you in. And I can rep 
replenish those stores by going back here. So there's some extra cannonballs, there's an extra firebomb. Yeah, we, we've got lots. Oh, hello. Um, okay, so uh, let's just get on with the next part of the quest and see where that leads us. And keep an eye out for skelly ships because we want to do at least a little bit of practice on them. Specifically, I want to try to sink and or severely influence sinking of a skelly ship by boarding it. That would be the target that I'm after uh, in this particular playthrough if it is sensible to do so. we got to go to the Crooked Masts next. Let's do that. So we're no longer here. We're now actually going to the uh, east southeast. southeast. We're doing okay. I think that's it basically right there. Just a little bit to our starboard. Take a look around. Make sure that nobody's being a douche nozzle. Also known as a pirate. Yar. Uh, <laughs> let's go check them out. Uh, we are in fact on track to the crooked masts. So this time we're going to practice uh, sword hand-to-hand uh, -hand sword fighting techniques, kind of like I was doing at the tail end of that. Let's get through this fairly quickly. I say techniques, I mostly mean not completely mistiming my lunges and maybe using a little bit more um, pairing. one. I think I'm going to come in on the port side here. Okay, slowly eking around this corner. Not sure where the bad guys are actually going to be. I 
I should probably start thinking about doing some of the uh, Athena uh, stuff. I'm not sure how well that's going to go solo. I can try. Uh, I think I want to practice some pieces of it, like taking down um, forts. Uh, separate from the Athena quests. Alright, while I'm in here, let's, uh, let's douse the lights. It's probably not really going to matter significantly, because... Come on. Anybody worth their salt could probably find me anyway, but... Alright. Let's go take a look. Got myself full of food. Pockets are full anyway. Here we go. Oh, hello. Okay, and get myself a little bit of food in me. Okay, that actually, that sequence didn't go terribly. Trying to bounce out of the way, get down the hill, and get some food in me, and it just did not work. So I gotta get better at that. I gotta know when I need to buy myself some time to get some food in me, and just get some food in me, even if I get shot in the process. Because otherwise, once you're dead, the the delay can be deadly in the course of a uh, hand-to-hand -hand battle. What I really need to do, um, it would be interesting to see if and there's any group that does this, is to borrow someone's services. I'm not going to say necessarily rent or buy or whatever. I, you know, maybe there might be some good Samaritan uh, uh, pirates out there, I don't know, but uh, in order to, to train you to deal with things like boarding. And why the heck can I not get on board? What the heck is it with this ledge? Thank you. Um, deal with boarding, deal with hand-to-hand, -hand, like sort of train you up. Would that be interesting? Really, like literally getting shot down. Okay, so here we go. Gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat. Right now, even if I get shot. Oh, all right. Let's actually book it down here and get more food. And not the snakes in particular. All right, that's fine. We're now full up on food. Let's actually eat some of it. Let's get all of you lit on fire because that'll just save me a boatload of time. Oh, hello. Uh, do I have any fire in my list? Yes, I do. That's got three of them, probably. I might have the next four. Uh, five! That was possibly efficient. Okay, 
Okay, no specialty firebombs there. And we have the captain, so that's good. Do we have anybody else? We do. But I think these are, once again, guys I'm going to have to take out with a fire. And I don't think I have enough. No, I do not. Okay, any chance there's firebombs in any of these? No, no, of course not. Okay, that's a problem. Alright, let's go get some firebombs because otherwise it's going to take forever. guys to group you together a little better. Come on, come on, group together. Group together. I want to hit you all with one firebomb. Can we take you out? Might be able to take you out with gunfire. Now that we can do some. You're not fast, you're just well armored. Uh, did I see an ammo crate? I did. See how many bullets it takes uh, to take out this. Oh, actually, not that bad. It was sort of pre-damaged. Okay, so I'm going to get on board here, and then I'm going to quickly take a tour around the island, focusing first on the upper levels, just to make sure nobody's approaching. That was a good win. Make sure there are no tuckers nearby. I can't really guarantee, but you know. All right, I'm gonna go up the mountain, see if I can spot any uh, any barrels of utility, as it were. I should have dropped off all my ordnance here because getting more cannonballs, uh, at least especially kind, would not have gone amiss. But in any case, nothing around that leg. Lots more food. Again, food kind of a kind of a thing in this map. We're doing okay in the food department. How about here? No, nope, nothing. Well, we do have uh, uh, some chain shot, which would have been nice. Let's uh, refill our uh, fire ammo supply. So that's a thing. All the way up. Check the horizon. What are you? Are you just one of like Steven's spoils or something like that? No, but there is, um, okay, so hang on, what direction is that? Because there are, because that's due south. Let's go and check that out, because there were seagulls out there. Oh, lots of nice specialty stuff. No, 
Oh, hello. This is it. This is now a thing. Okay. Let's, um, so we're full on foodstuffs here, and we've left large amounts of uh, meat just sort of littering the island. How do we want to deal with this? We could do the refresher on the food supply. We're not in any serious danger at the moment. Might be worth me dropping off my stuff. All right, let's do that. Take a gamble here. Let's uh, unload all of this. Let's unload all of this. Let's unload all of this. Let's take a gamble and go get some extra food. I'm gonna go and learn how to do like sword dash cancels and the like to take advantage of that. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of meta game to this game that. Uh, Yoink. full of chicken. All right. Well, uh, let's make a round uh, and pick up any specialty supplies we can along the way, because why not? We make another quick tour of the island. Lots and lots of ammo pouches, right? Yeah, nothing but ammo pouches. Okay, uh, yeah, pick up some specialty stuff from that. Oh, hello, what do we got going on here? Whole other... Well, how rude. I'm just saying. At least I managed to take them all out at once, right? that. As long as we're here, let's also unload this. Snake, pick up some chicken. Oh, hello. We actually have another captain going on here. I don't mind picking up a spare skull just because he happens to be here. Oh, hello. That's a whole new level of uh, not good. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of weirdly happy to just let them battle it out because, well, I do want to eventually get the captain. 
I don't really care to deal with uh, all of the others because it's not really going to get me anything. Uh, let me circle around uh, the horizon scan. Nobody seems to be being obnoxious. Food. Cannot take more of that. All right, let's uh, pop in here, grab some extra chain shot, grab some extra fire. All of this is good. That's ammo. That's more snake I can't take with me. That's more chicken I can't take with me. There, however, is the skull we want and skeleton orders. I do seem to be taking this uh, slow and steady, right? Which is going to be embarrassing if I get taken out somewhere in the process. Uh, I've got some food to tide me over, although I have to cook a lot of it, which isn't going to be too exciting on stream, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Let's just uh, make a reverse pass through all of this and pick up the foodstuffs that I've left lying around. I don't worry about the chicken. Check in here. Oh, we got some of that. Oh, look at that, I'm already full. I guess, uh, I guess this is my last pass through here, because this is just for now wasting time. I'll get an extra blunder bomb though, and I'll get the extra chain shot, because why not? That could come in handy. But I've got, um, as it were, lots of food. Lots and lots of food. I really kind of want to pick up all this snake though. Ugh, I really do need to get a storage thing. I think next time I head out, I'm going to just splurge, get a storage uh, container, like buy one, because I mean, honestly, I'm going to make it, I mean, it costs like something like 20 grand, but I'll make that back if I'm even remotely sensible about, um, about, uh, playing the game, especially if it's a longer session. <sighs> dang it, eight ways to Sunday. I don't want to leave that snake behind. Just too dang much of it. That's actually pretty good for you. One last trip. No fruit, just snake. Come on, let me up. Jeez. All right, here we go. Here we go. Snake and snake alone. There we go. Up and over. That's chicken. Don't worry about that. Grab the snake. Grab an ammo pouch, because I guess. Uh, fight the ghosts. Downside is I don't have any immediately edible food on me, which is a bit of a problem. Who shot me and from where? Uh, 
I will have to cook all this up, but, you know, whatever. healed grab an extra banana for the road and we are out of here no we are seriously out of here we're gonna get on with this already we actually got more skulls than we intended to get off this rock and we have more chapters to do in this every second we linger here is a chance for somebody to sneak up on me and uh yeah let's just uh let's just not have that happen i will cook all of that at some point maybe one hopes Let's find out where I'm supposed to go next. Next, I'm supposed to go to the Sunken Grove. Uh, there it is. So we are going due north of us. All right. Oh, hang on, though. We were going to go south to find out what that uh, patch of birds was, right? Let's see if it's still there. Curiosity killed the cat. But that's okay. Now it was pretty much due south, so let's uh, not run into that rock that's sticking up out of the ground. A little bit of a reef there. Cutting that a little fine, but that's all right. And kind of due south as it is. Let's see if we can spot this. No, maybe not. It might have been something at one point, but it could have just uh, unspawned. All right, you know what? Not going to worry about it. Come about. Coming about to go due north. Full sail. Straighten her up. I think we're in good shape. Let's kill that light. Let's tentatively, and let's see if we can do this without killing ourselves, start cooking.
Okay, quickly take a peek downstairs. How you doing? We're gonna let that cook a little longer. Okay, we're gonna put you downstairs. Grab you, send another one in, put the rest of you back in there. We need to lighten up on the sails so I can get a bearing on where I am. Isle of Lost Words. Okay. Did I end up going the wrong direction? No, no, that's fine, actually. It's just that I need to go uh, sort of northeast of here to get to where I'm going. And that's fine. We'll just uh, come around this. Drop the sails again. We are actually coming up right between two outposts, so that's interesting in and of itself. I think the Sunken Grove is this big one over here, actually, because I remember the Sunken Grove being a fairly largish island with a, uh, a Sunken Grove in the middle of it, and that requires a fairly largish island, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to go downstairs and get my snake. Because that's starting to get... Is that getting a little cooked? No, it could stand to be just a little bit more cooked. Snake takes a while to, uh, to actually cook, so... Leave that for a little bit longer. Sail in really slowly. Now I can go and think change over the snake. Ooh, I left that a little long. Apparently I don't know. Uh, just eat that and hide the evidence. Apparently I'm a terrible judge of when snake is properly cooked. So let's take a good look at that color. I'm going to try to judge it on that color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck into this bay over here and uh, anchor myself with a you know, getaway sailing posture. Turning. Jeez, I couldn't have. I don't think I could have asked for a better parking job. I think. I think that'll do me. Oh, except, yeah, that that's a little close. But that's not terrible. I will take that. There is a lot of food to cook here. Um, do I want to worry about that now? No, I'll, I'll worry about it between sailings, but I should take stuff with me. Also, I'm going to take 
fire with me in case I need to combat something with fire. Let's just pop off and uh, see if we can find our skeleton buddies. Look at that, we got a castaway's chest, that's not terrible. Just gonna leave this here because I can probably harpoon it on board later. Well, that's nice. That'll, uh, that'll do for ammo, should that be needed. But the skeletons aren't here, so... Time to check. Up is not unreasonable. Let's check up. Cannonballs, don't really need to worry about those. No, we're, we're good for the moment on, on straight up cannonballs. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance I gotta do this inside the, uh, inside here, and this is always a little bit uh, dodgy for uh, solo players, because you have to go way deep. Oh, hello. We have enough sunlight to deal with you? We do. I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to race up to the top. I'm going to lead them to the top so I can monitor what's going on at the top of the island. Okay, he's going to follow me? Well, I don't care if you are or not. I have to go to the top of the island and keep an eye on my ship. One of the things I kind of wish is that there were some sort of an early warning system solo players could... Uh, apply to their ship. Hello. You're an expected win. So everything about sitting here is super sketchy to me. I think that's a pirate, um, a skeletal ship, and so I'm not too worried about that right now.
I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Yeah. But I think I took out a several of them with me because there were two independent explosions spread over a fairly large area. I'll take the death as a consequence for uh, uh, for sort of leaping in there, but it'll also save me a little bit of time, actually. Need to book it. Let's go faster. So chase me up the hill. Not the beach I wanted to lead you to. But it's not terrible. Oh, God. I tried to do the was not good. I tried to do the sword, sword lunge thing, but if you don't get it set up well to begin with, like right there, God, 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 stop. That short lunge should have connected, it didn't, and that stalled me. Uh, I mean, I can live with the mechanics, but occasionally they bite you in the behind. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we are going to get these three skulls down on the beach here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is kind of a problem. Okay, one more captain. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these guys to fight it out while I go over here back to my ship. Chapter 4, good god. This may be the only quest I do, but I do get a little bit of... I am getting a little bit of practice. I'm going to grab these two chests. I'm going to swing myself back. And, uh, and hopefully... Actually, the quest being achieved means that they probably killed the captain back there, which is just ducky by me. Come on, eat the... thank you. Can I actually get those chests from here? Probably not, right? No, not quite. So, let's uh, turn a little bit. Not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. Can I? There we go. Okay, so we got those. Let's swing this around and go and reclaim actually four skulls, which is kind of awesome. Really not doing a thing I was totally after, though, which is skelly ship combat. But you know, it's sometimes hard to find the skelly ships when you're explicitly looking for them. I haven't seen the skull in the sky, I don't think, yet, but I could have missed it early in the stream. In any case, I wasn't quite ready for it. Really only after skellies. I don't need to kill these guys. Might be worth doing it though for the well for the practice, I guess. And I'm going a little bit fast. So there we go. Dropping the anchor. Get the anchor back up. All the skulls on back on board. Oops. All right. I guess this is going to be. Is that just a lantern? Am I trying to spear a lantern and shouldn't be? Okay, fine. Um. Hit either of them with my current arc. All right, let's uh, let's just go on board here. Yeah, that was literally a lantern. I was trying to spear. Uh, all right, well let's. Um... Silver gem. Get back on board. Shoot from there. Keep an eye on the horizon. I'd actually gotten that. All right, that'll do. Did 
pop down here, grab that. Quick scan of the horizon. Okay. Anything shiny down there? I don't think so. I think we have done this part of the mission. Hi. All right. Um, we're off to Crook's Hollow for another couple of these guys. Wow. Long chapters. Okay. Crook's Hollow. Where are you? Somewhere in the vicinity, probably. So, quite a ways south, actually, when it comes right down to it. All right. All right. South it is. Okay, we're already lowered, so let's just do this and this. But actually, you know what? Here's a here's an interesting and valid point. I um, would be nice to lock in at least some of this. So I'm going to go to Galleon's Grave Outpost and lock in the skulls that I already have. Because I've been pretty lucky. And at this point, it would tick me off if I got this far and lost all of it. So let's, um, let's fix our ship. What that does mean is if I do encounter a ship that, that uh, either attacks me or that I want to attack, that I don't feel troubled about going that route. So. Alright, so where do I come in on this guy? Alright, I'm coming in on the correct side. Kidoki coming on in to a rock. <laughs> a little tight there, but that's okay. in pretty nicely here. Doesn't appear to be any activity that's really obvious to spot here. I think I'm okay with this. I'm going to risk anchoring um, because reasons. Because I want my ship to remain stable, I guess. making some extra cash on this. Not a huge amount, but I am locking it in, which is nice. Sapphire, Siren, and Gem can go to them as well. Yeah, I'm making you know, some pretty good. 
get extra cash. I'm not suffering. Let's get some of the treasure chests off as well. chest Some decent coin. I think I made most of my money back for the evening. I still got a well stocked ship, so I mean, generally, you know, generally profitable. I'm, I'm okay with all of this. Uh, I think that is actually that. So, uh, what we can now do is set ourselves sailing south, I believe it was. Actually, southwest at this point. Uh, south southwest. So let's. All right, I anchored. Let's get ourselves going. Let's complete this quest and keep an eye out for a skelly ship on the horizon. Even by the way, if it's a galleon, I will take on the galleon skeleton ship and let myself sink. If that's what it takes, I'll even risk losing my pennant because I need the practice. So let's keep an eye out. Okay, we're gonna sail past that spire and straight on till morning. Uh, or something. Yeah, all right, we're good. We are golden, we are sailing. Oh, hello. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's it, that's where we're headed. I'm probably gonna lose my pendant for this, but that's all right. I need the practice. And I've already gotten good money out of this, it's not a big deal. Because I keep doing these sessions where I say I'm going to go after skelly ships or engage in a little bit of, well, it's not exactly PvP, right? Because it's not really players. But I keep promising I'm going to do stuff like this, and I don't because I get caught up in the missions that I'm on. I don't really care about the, uh, the mission as such. I've made some coin, so let's go and uh, see if we can't take out a ship. If I can find it again. You have a cannonball, you have a cannonball. We all have cannonballs. Let's make sure I'm stocked up. Now, I don't need those. Actually, I might need these. I'm not going to need to prevent borders, so I don't need the blunder bombs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with fire. That's gonna be my target. I mean, I could use blunder bombs in order to blow the skellies off the ship, but. It 
it is. Here's where uh, we see if I can solo take down a, I think that's a galleon. Pretty sure that's a galleon. I'm really gonna have to maximize my win here though. Um, I'm gonna have to hit them hard with some cannon shots and then sneak on board to prevent them from actively repairing by lighting everything on fire. Gonna be able to do this? Oh my god, that's big. That is freaking huge. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it all goes. No, I li literally am prepared to die, but I think that's kind of got to be a thing. Ooh, this is bad. They're going to ram me. Okay, actually... That was not bad, but can we turn and... Okay, I'm gonna try to... Come on, come on, come on, bucket already, thank you. No any wood. Why? Thank you. And I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't monitoring my own health. So if that's where I die here, it's basically that, that's my screw up right there. Is the minute that I'm taken away from my ship for a lengthy amount of time in that kind of situation, I think I'm simply done. I mean, I have recovered before, but uh, from that, but. Come on, let me through. Let's see if we can do anything to recover this. Nope, nope, I'm done. It was okay. It was okay. Um, yeah. I would have to be a lot more careful. I, I'm not sure what I could do there. So, 
Yeah, because, yeah. Well, it's been nice. I and mean, it's probably going to be the end of the stream for, for this particular run anyway. But I did get some good practice. Things I could have done differently, maybe. Yeah, emissary status lost. That's okay. So a couple of things I could have done differently. First of all, I needed to do, I think, a little bit more damage to their lower deck. Um, like below the water line with the cannonballs. Faster from behind or from the side, like that initial volley, in order to get them taking on water in their lower holds. Because hitting the upper layers doesn't really do anything until the lower layers are completely sunk. So I need to hit the lower part of the ship uh, more often if I'm going to solo it. Hopefully from the back, so that they have trouble turning to get to me. Um, and once I've done enough of that kind of damage, also be prepared to hit them with a couple of fireballs uh, fairly quickly, uh, even if I'm not on board, to be able to distract them. Because they were on fire for a bit with quite a few fireballs, and if I'd been able to keep the pressure up, um, that would have distracted them for quite some time. I just couldn't keep the pressure up. I had uh, too many things I was juggling, and I didn't pay attention to my own health. Uh, which I got hit several times. It wasn't a mystery um, that I was getting hit. I just wasn't paying attention, is frankly what that comes down to. So conveniently, I have a number of fireballs here so that I can give my ship a proper Viking funeral send-off. So let's do that. I'm going to raise anchor. And we're going to have a moment. <sighs> Oops. Oh, come on. Also going to load. No, we're not going to load the cannonball. Did I not have? I thought I had a firework in my possession. Yes, I did. Yes, please. Firework, please. I'm getting confused because I put it away. That was weird. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Loading the monkey firework. Here we go. Another fire. That's all we get. We got one more fireball, which we might be able to hit the ship with. Let's give it a go. There we go. left uh, the ship with a bit of a turn to it. Oh well. And I don't get to complete this quest, but that's okay. Was that a standard galleon? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's got to be Salazar's ship from one of the later pirate movies. Um, just because of the uh, the bowsprit on it, I think. I could be wrong. Um, menacing dang ship in any case.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fun trip. First time I encounter a pirate galleon, uh, a skelly galleon, try to take it on with my uh, solo sloop. I get wiped out pretty quickly. Did my best. Have to learn from that and try it again later. One of these days I'll get good enough to do that. And one of these days I'll practice actually boarding. I'm not sure where that would have come into that particular engagement. But. This has been... Code Weaver Plays Games. And I'll see you in the next stream.